Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Gunger! Yeah, I haven't seen someone like that. Got sort of a purple thing on your head there, whatever that is. I don't know what she's wearing. Oh. Kind of reminds me of uh, that one guy in Final Fantasy Tactics. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's me. Do you know me or something? Oh, yeah, it's the spear. What do you mean by that? Oh, oh okay. Well, yeah, the uh, Emperor had that uh, prophecy or whatever for him. Well, what do you mean? You're not going to tell us, are you? I don't think they ever explain that. <laughs> they don't explain a lot of things, but oh well. I don't really pay too much attention to that sort of thing. Well, I am pretty young, so, well, lots of stuff could happen. Huh, that was weird. What do you mean? Well, I am the leader of Esperanza. Not exactly a king, but... Hmm. Maybe you'll become emperor one day. Oh, what is that? I thought they were all saying that they, the stars favored the empire. Oh, well, that sounds pretty good. Oh, hmm. Well, I like the uh, ice theme we got going on here. We need more ice areas in this game. Hmm. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know if it has anything to do with the the rest of the series of uh, Department Heaven games. I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, never mind then. So, there's really not a point to any of this? I guess not. Okay, well, anyway, before moving on, let's make a backup here. There we are. Oh, by the way, for the remainder of the game, we are going to have a battle for every scene. So, yeah, we've got lots of stuff going on. First things first, though, let's uh, start buying some new stuff. Let's see, I want to get a new wand. The Arrow Heart for Alyssa there. It's really nice. Got a lot of really good abilities we can unlock there. Let's see, we get the Silver Wolf headgear, which uh, both Paulo and my thrower can use. Actually, all my party members can use it. <laughs> well, most of them, anyway. But anyway, uh, let's see. I also want to get the Insect Shoes. I really like these ones. They got a decent counter number there. Let's see. Let's take a look. Yeah, decent counter number, uh, specialty four. We also got one jump, which I would dare say is be might be better than movement speed or movement range in uh, this game. So I use that periodically. So sure, why not? I don't use it all the time though. Uh, I also want to upgrade the arrow heart to level nine for Alyssa there. So I will take care of that. Okay, so let's see, Julio. Let's see, I can afford to equip some headgear now. So let's get rid of that. But I do want to equip some antidotes because we could get uh, poisoned here. Let's see, leave the Shurikagake on. Don't really need the hand gear anymore. So let's uh, go with the stone head. It's really nice because it gives you 15 defense and weighs very, very little. So and now we don't have to worry about people breaking it. Okay, so we got that. Let's see. Joseph, or er, Paulo. For some reason, I keep on getting Paulo and Joseph's name mixed up in my head. Okay, so let's just go for uh, raw defense this time. Use up a little less of that cap while we're at it. And I also want to equip, where is it? The pinty hat. There. That's 
pretty good. I want to keep everyone around 75, 80% capacity. That would be pretty good. Let's see, Joseph, I'm not going to use right away in the battle, but I may want to switch him in later. So let's keep going with this, but let's also give you some antidotes as well. Okay, so you're good there. Martin, I definitely want to use in the next battle. You'll see why. Uh, let's see, well, let's upgrade the headgear then. Too bad we don't have any headgear that could boost your hit rate, but oh well. Let's see, okay, so we got the Silver Wolf... Get with blue tough boots. Tough boots are also pretty good in this battle because, uh, well, they prevent the sticky status, and some enemies can do that. Not that it's a really big deal, but it is a little annoying. Okay, so for Alyssa, we're done with the uh, Lily Bell one for now, but I do want to save it for later. I'm eventually going to make her like Paulo with two weapons, but for now, I really want to mostly just work on the arrow hearts. Uh, let's see, because yeah, you got. Well, let's see what abilities we got so far. Yeah, this can inflict the burn status. Basically, same thing as poison, pretty much. I mean, there's some differences, but yeah, it's really nice for that. You can get a healing ability for it, and another ability that can inflict charm on enemies. Yeah, it's just got everything you really want. Well, almost everything. Okay, so now I'm going to... We're in tight quarters for the next battle, so I want to get some more uh, defense for Alyssa there. Okay. Yeah, your level's not doing too bad there. I mean, we're still a little behind, but, uh, yeah, we're all right. Okay, so let's see. We got the Joker, the, uh, where is it? Water Veil. Finally, I'm going to use that. <laughs> not that it's really important. I also want to get the Overdrive, which will help, uh, reduce her casting times. And she can boost Paulo's damage with that, too, with the boost there. So, that's pretty nice. And let's see, I want to get an antidote on you, too. Um, but, you know, I'm going to have to buy some more of those, because I don't have any of those. There we go. Okay, let's try that one again. Alyssa, equip some antidotes, please. How are we doing on cap? Mm, a little high there. Usually I have Alyssa a little higher on levels there, but eh, she'll be okay. I'll be fine. Okay, so, got all that stuff. So, let's see, what do I need to hold on to? Battle Axe, definitely. Lily Bill Wand, definitely. And, okay, so I'm just going to hold on to all my weapons there. Don't need to uh, sell anything there. Let's see, what do we got that we still want to hold on to, though? Here. Uh, let's see, no shield, body armor. Always hold on to elemental resisting equipment, because or absorption or whatever, or immunity. Yeah, that's always going to be good for us later on. Uh, let's see. Holy Brim, I want to hold on to for curse protection. Don't need th that item that I won there. And we don't need the Iron Mask anymore, so we're good there. Let's see. Force Bracelet is kind of an interesting piece of hand armor. It uh, reduces your cast time, the same as the Overdrive, but it boosts melee damage, which is kind of weird. Usually, you know, when you get a piece of hand armor, it boosts the same thing. Like, if it boosts your hit rate... It boosts range damage. If it boosts your uh, physical attack power, then it's something that you would equip on tanks or whatever. But yeah, this one, yeah, that's really weird like that. But I'm not going to use that though, because I prefer the equipment that can boost the same thing that I've got equipped pretty much. Okay, so let's see. Arm guard, I still want to hold on to. A couple savage hunters might be useful later. Record gloves, we still want for later. And let's see, we still want burn protection later. Uh, leg warmer will be useful for a little while, but eventually enemies will stop uh, trying to uh, freeze us. Let's see, we want both wheel greaves and the insect shoes. Talismans we still want for later. And okay, I think we're good. I don't need to... Uh, what is it? Yeah, I lost my train of thought there. Yeah, I don't need to uh, get rid of uh, anything else there. So, let's uh, move on to the next battle. Oh, not again. How many times are we going to have to fight these guys? What do you mean? Oh, yeah, that would be... Uh, who is that? Uh, Nelson. 
What do you mean? Well, we're gonna be going there too, but apparently. Oh. What's up? Who's there? Don't you mean who is there? Philia, is that you? No, no, she's not nearly busty enough. Well, close enough name. What do you mean? Well, Philia was kind of forgetful, too. <laughs> what are you doing all the way up there? Well, I guess she kind of looks like a witch. She doesn't have a carrot for a nose, but... Well, she's got the hat. She's a witch. Burn her! Burn the witches! Now that we got a weapon that can inflict the burn status. What do you mean? <laughs> hmm? What are you going to do? How hard could she possibly be? Oh, so that's where we, they were. What's up over here? Uh, that's nice to know. I'm not a geographer, but okay. Oh. Uh, well, I would beg to differ about that. This next battle is a little tough. Not extraordinarily so, but anyway. I have a few tricks up my sleeve to make the, the next battle a lot easier. What's with that sound effect? Stop making that noise! I'm dancing, I guess. Oh. What do you mean? <laughs> what is that thing that she has on her head anyway? I mean, I guess it's kind of like an eye patch, but she's just wearing it really, really weird. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. Where did you come from? Doesn't exactly look like this place has a door. Oh. Um. Uh, whatever works for you. Well, it seemed to work. Uh, we kicked your ass twice already, dude. I don't know how her magic did that, but okay. Or it could just be a major coincidence. Uh, we're still trying to kill the Empire. Uh, well, I don't know. What are we going to be doing there? I guess they kind of talked about it a little bit earlier, but... Yeah, we have no quarrel with you. Why is that? Yeah, what's, what's your problem, man? Thought he was with us before? What do you mean? 
Well, yeah, that is true. Hmm. Wow, we seem to be doing pretty good. But we're not food, and you're not a cannibal, I don't think. So what were we supposed to do? Just roll over for the Empire? Oh. Okay. Why do you hate him so much? So, you're mad at us because we're trying not to die? Uh, I guess. Whatever works for you, Rodriguez. But can we defeat Rodriguez and the bandits? Find out next time on Let's Play Gunyer. This is H.E. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.